Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. We also welcome all of you from home who are joining us this morning. This beautiful Mass will be celebrated by Father Wisman as we remember in a very special way this Mass, Epidio Panizales. Kindly rise and join me in the entrance song. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess, to Almighty, Almighty God, God, and to my brothers and sisters, that I have made a decision in my thoughts and my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my own grief's fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed be the Virgin, all the angels and saints. And you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord my God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your people, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for my misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O oh, Lord of hosts, you are the test, the just, who probe mind and heart. Let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Amen. The response to our psalm. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. The breakers of death surged around about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Spirit and life. 
You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law, I say you are gods? If it calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from the power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we often say action speaks louder than word. My actions, my works speak louder than my word. Your behaviors, your actions say who you are out loudly. Today, Jesus invites the Jews, at least if they don't believe in what he has said, but in his work, they can believe in his work. Because if they believe, in his works, that means they believe in the Father. Because he came not to do his works, but the works of the Father. Today's Gospel, brothers and sisters, teaches us that our faith is based not only on what God has promised, but also on what God has done. Because Jesus Christ points to his works as the basis for faith in him as the Son. Many brothers and sisters, if we truly believe in Jesus Christ, we don't have to have a microphone to speak very loud about our faith. We need to let our actions, our works, our behaviors tell people who we are. Sometimes, or most of the times, our action betrays our word, betrays 
our faith betrays what we say we believe in. Because sometimes you can hear people say, say that. By his action, already knew who he or she is. Other times you can see people say, when you go somewhere, someone say, I'm a Christian. And that person becomes a laughing stock because his or her action doesn't reflect the belief that he say or she says she, she, she is as a Christian. We need brothers and sisters to give testimony, mostly not with words, but with action. We need to preach the gospel with our action. As St. Francis says, Preach, preach, preach the gospel. Use word when necessary. Preach it with your action, with your works, with your behaviors. The way you enter into relationship with others matters. Our world needs witnesses. As Pope St. Paul VI said it best, contemporary men need testimony more than argument. It is hard to win people with your argument, but with your work, it would be easier. Let us brothers and sisters try our best, do our best, that our works can reflect who we say we are. Jesus Christ says, let your, sh let your light shine in the world so that they, they might see and they might believe. Let your action, let your behaviors speak loudly about your faith. Others might see them and give glory to God the Father. With the same trust Jeremiah had in God's providence, let us bring him our prayers and petitions. For all seminarians and prospective religious, may God bless their efforts of study and discernment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in the promotion of peace and the resolution of conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer hardship for the sake of the kingdom, may the Holy Spirit grant them the grace of fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and for those of us in this community of worship preparing to receive the Easter sacraments, may the love of Christ embrace them ever, ever more deeply during this time of preparation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and for our beloved dead. May Christ welcome them to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those persons whose names are written in our box of petitions and for all the intentions that we hold in the silence and depths of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Father of mercy and love, we praise you along with your servant Jeremiah. We humbly ask you to hear the prayers and petitions we bring before you today. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. We come the earth and welcome human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are the God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual joint. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever, to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation we agree. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and welcome the fullness of charity together with Francis Arfo, Jehovah Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all those saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, with trust, let us come to God the Father in the prayer that Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look now in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will. Only when we forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us show our willingness. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I pray that you should enter the Lamb, but when we say the Lord, and so shall us. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. join me in the communion prayer. God has brought us to the kingdom of his beloved Son. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross, so that dead to sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. One announcement, there will be no adoration this Friday, today, and on Good Friday. And we will resume our Friday adoration on Friday the 9th. And we have Veneration of the cross right after. The Lord be with you. Bow your head for the blessing. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you with peace of mind. Through Christ our Lord. May the blessing of Almighty God come down upon you and remain with you forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, go in find the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks God. God. Brothers and sisters, let your action give praise and testimony to God the Most High. Let your faith shine through your faith people might see and come to believe in Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day.